I just thought I'd show you the boots I was wearing in Scotland. They've done such a good job that uh, I thought it might help other people. I'm sorry, I'm a bit croaky. I don't know, cold weather or whatever. But anyway, these are Mindel Duvry GTX Extreme Gore-Tex boots. A um, bit pricey. In the UK, they range between 215 to 290 pounds. But they're well worth it. Give you a bit, a bit of rundown. They're 980 grams. I've measured them from the salt, from the ground to the top, and they're about 12 inches, just under 12 inches. I know in one of the videos I said you need 18 inches, 18 inch boots, but I was going probably over the top when I was making that statement. I found these with uh, a Gore-Tex, uh, Gore a Gators, sorry, um, kept my feet dry. I was wading through rivers. And I think you even saw on one of the videos that the actual gaiter up to about here was uh, wet. So it just shows how good with the gaiters and the boot, they, they actually keep your feet dry. Um, they're heavy, yes, at 980 grams. And you do feel like you're walking in moon boots when you first put them on. But it's amazing how comfortable they become. Uh, during the summer months and spring and maybe early autumn, I, w I always use trail runners. I love to feel the ground. I love to feel all that kind of nooks and crannies. You can also test where there's holes and all that because you're using your feet as the actual sensor, if you get what I mean, when you're placing your foot. But in the winter, because of the, the wet conditions, you have no choice, you, you, you know. If you want to be changing three or four pairs of socks or getting kind of Gore-Tex uh, socks that, in my in my uh, experience, do not work. You know, I've had problems with all these sealskin socks and Gore-Tex socks and so on. With these boots, I was in Scotland. It, the conditions were really, really bad, as you saw. It, everywhere was just, I would say, three inches of water. I mean... You look like you're walking on grass, but as soon as you start stamping your feet around and kind of messing about, you realise you're literally on a bog. I wore the same pair of socks. Now, I know that sounds terrible, but they are thick woolen socks. And it's a, a, a practice I'm learning now that uh, someone told me that it got, you know, more experience than me. They said, go out with what you got and the only thing changed is underwear. In other words, wear the same base layers, wear the same socks. Keep everything dry and look after it. And if it does get wet or damp, dry it out of the fire if, you, if you're stopping out of boffy. At the time, I thought, no, nah, I can't do that because I'll smell and all that. But he said to me, everyone is in the same situation. Everyone smells. So at the end of the day, it doesn't make any difference. And it's true. I realised when I was doing the loadout the other week, uh, I was looking back at it. And after stuff, I never did use like extra base layers, jumper, uh, extra socks. These boots did such a good job that I just stayed in the same pair of socks for the three days and they didn't get damp at all. And I'm talking wading through rivers, I'm at, I guess about 12 to 18 inches high um, and fast flow months because of the, the way they were, the water or the rain they had. But these boots, if you look after them and prepare them right, I, I'm ex-military and all we do when we get back is, since we get back, we sort our kit out. We'll probably have a rest for about half a day and then start sorting the kit out. Scrub the boots, let them dry normally. Do not dry them near a radio. Do not dry them in, in, near any fire. It's the same when you get in a buffet. If they're soaking, do not dry your boots near fire. They'll crack, the leather will crack. And that will cause you to have issues in the future when you're wading rivers or in boggy conditions. The water is just seeped through the boots. Polish them once they're dry. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, I put dub in. I'm old fashioned. I love dubbing. Now, these boots won't be used now for about two, three weeks. And that dubbing will soak into the leather over, them for, over that time period. And that will waterproof the boot. That's all you need to do. But going back to the boots, they're nice and comfortable. Yes, as I said, you do feel like you're walking in moon, moon boots, but your feet get used to the way they are. I know it's strange and it's hard to explain, but you adapt. The stiffness and all that you adapt to. And I've got to be honest, this is the first pair of boots that I've actually used where when I get out of Bothy and I'm relaxed for the night, I don't want to get out of my boots straight away. My feet are nice and dry. They're nice and cosy and nice and warm. Even the cold doesn't get through to the toes because they really are stiff. You know what I mean? So... Uh, 
anyone looking for some decent boots. As I say, gamekeepers use these, hunters use these. And if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. And uh, if you want a decent pair of boots that's going to keep you dry for the winter months, when you're up in the mountains in Scotland, I don't know if the crampon compatible. That's the only thing I'd have to check out. I'll try and put a photo up to show them because these are not shiny. Sorry, my dog is just bothering me. Go away, Max. Uh, Rebel, go away. <laughs> Has to get involved. But as I say, um, I've had no issues with these at all. Lacing up's easy. Uh, the laces seem to last forever. I have no snagging or snapping of laces, touch wood. Uh, there's no rubbing. I mean, sometimes you'll find on some boots, see this tongue in there, this bit here, when it comes in. I don't know if I'm videoing it good enough. That will sometimes rub on some boots. On the minder boots, it doesn't rub. It seems to stay out the way of your kind of the top end of where your sock is. All I suggest is get some good woolen socks so they're thick enough so that that kind of issue doesn't kick in, you know what I mean? But uh, they've got vibrant soles, got great grip. And as I say, I've had these boots for about, I'm guessing, 10, 12 years. And look at them. After 10, 12 years, no problems at all. They should outlast me. Right, I've got to go because my dog is sniffing around me. <laughs> go away, Rebel. <laughs> Bit of pain. Right, I'm going.